Hey guys, it's me, Barrel Seam. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am doing my Premier League predictions alongside my brother. Basically, we both predicted bottom three, top seven. If we did the rest of the table, it would drag on for so long. So we're not gonna do that. Let's hop into it. Make sure that once we reveal our predictions, you vote for who you agree with more, and whoever gets less votes for agreement, we'll have to do a forfeit later this week for a video. Starting off in 20th place, I have Huddersfield Town. Fish, who are you rocking? The same team. Huddersfield were obviously the lowest three out of the teams that did come into the Premier League out of Brighton and Newcastle, so I'm pretty sure they aren't going to do well, and they haven't done that much in the transfer window. It should be a very bad year for them. In 19th place, I have Watford. They have signed Tom Cleverley, I believe, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be enough, and they will be going down. I put Swansea. In 18th place, I have Burnley. They haven't done much, but they could stay up. They just need to put a, a little bit of fight in. I have Brighton. Now we get to the top seven. This is really the part that you all want to hear about. In seventh place, I have Everton. They've made a ton of class signings. They've picked up Keane, Pickford, a bunch of players, Rooney, but they've lost Lukaku, who was a big asset for their team last season. I think seventh place will be good for them. I have Liverpool Junior. Oh, sorry. Southampton. In sixth place, I have Manchester United. Now, they have made a big signing of Lukaku, but overall, they haven't really strengthened up that much, in my opinion. And I don't think that Lukaku will be as good as Ibrahimovic did last year. So, sixth place will be what they're getting. I also have Manu in fifth. In fifth place, I have Tottenham. They're playing at Wembley this season as their home ground. Last year, when they played at Wembley as their home ground for the Champions League, they did horrific. I have Arsenal in fifth place. In fourth place, I have the mighty Liverpool. Uh, I think top four is realistic this year. We're going to try to push for Champions League. And obviously, the title is going to be rough without the depth of the squad that we need. But if we get Virgil van Dijk and Keita, this could be very different for us. I have Tottenham in fourth. In third place, I have Arsenal. They've signed Lacazette. They should be making top four with the squad that they have. If they can hold on to Sanchez, that would be perfect for them. And top three is very realistic. I have Liverpool in third. Attaboy. Top two. In second place, this is a hard one, but Chelsea will be in second place and won't defend their title. I have City in second place. I have Manchester City winning the Premier League. If they can hold on to Aguero, they've got Kyle Walker now. They've got Bernardo Silva. I think they can easily win this Premier League. I have the best team in the world, Chelsea to win the league. Dominant side. All right guys, right now I want you to go vote in the poll whose predictions you agree with more. Is it me or is it Fish? One of us will be doing the forfeit later this week. Thank you guys very much for watching our Premier League predictions. If you have any opinions, please put them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.